welcome to another video and welcome to this tutorial class in this video we are going to be dive very deep in uh, the concept of world theorem and if you are just coming to this channel please do well to subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell for more videos like this and what uh, does world theorem all about uh, this theorem uh, it states that if g of x, it might not uh, necessarily to be g of x, it can be any other function like h of x, is differentiable in an open interval a comma b, and that same function also continues in a closed interval a comma b. And if g of a equals to g of b, then there exists a constant value such that the derivative of the given function g prime of x equals to zero otherwise um, what i'm trying to explain in this concept is we are, we are going to be given a particular functions so in such a way that if we try to differentiate um, the functions uh, there must be a particular interval in it and suppose uh, the g of x i used earlier so as i said it can also be f of x it can be h of x it can be any other uh function that f so then uh i use this um uh, backward e uh, it is known as dr assist so and uh, we still use this uh it's known as such that so we use these two um greek letters uh, from the definitions and we are going to see the use of them later and we must know that this g of a must be equal to g of b they are very very important as the second steps to take when dealing with rose theorem okay let's proceed what are the considerations for differentiability and continuity because i uh, will say that this is must be differentiable in this open interval so note that I use two brackets. I cut the first one open and the second one closed. Differentiable is open while the continuous is closed. Don't worry, I will explain the letter. So given a problem, the first thing we are going to do here is we must firstly check that is this function a polynomial function or not. If it is polynomial, then it is continuous and differentiable. And we have different series of polynomial, like we have constant polynomial. And the constant polynomial is supposed to have f of x equals to c and where this c is any real numbers so it can be five it can be six it can be negative it can be zero all right that is constant polynomial i will say i have linear polynomial and suppose i have h of x equals to um ax uh you know the power of this x is one and where the power of a particular variable is one it is automatically linear and let's see it in example if you have two x all right so the power of this x is one why the coefficient which is a is also two and uh, which makes this to be linear so we still have quadratic quadratic suppose you have g of x equals to a x to the power of two plus b all right uh what makes this quadratic is because the highest power of this x is two and not necessarily to be only two it can be x squared plus x as far as the highest power is taken to then we consider everything as quadratic and there's a sample like x squared minus five why the last one is polynomial of degree three and above that is this one can be raised to power three raised to power four raised to power five and as many as raised to power that we have so we call them polynomial of degree three and here's the example we have three x cube plus two x square uh let's say minus five x plus uh c all this one they are a uh, polynomial because the highest power of x here is 3 and we can still have x raised to power 4 minus 2 x raised to power 2 uh, minus 3 this is also a polynomial but this one is degree 4 all right so and uh, under condition we can still consider a is trigonometry if the function of is trigonometric it means it is differentiable and uh, continuous and here are the example of trigonometric like sine x cos x, tan x, cosec x, cot x, and all, all those x, x that were out. So all this one, they are trigonometry. If you see a question like this, in your theorem, you must firstly consider it as differentiable and continuous. Then we still have three, which is exponential. Yeah, 
a function can still be exponential function for it to be continuous and uh, differentiable and here is the example e raised to the power of x where e is known as the exponential or uh, you can call it exponent and the real name for that e is eula so it was infected by uh, a scientist called eula and the value of this e when it raised to the power 1 is 2.7 to something and above then we can still plug in e raised to power 2 then we get the value by keep multiplying it then for a function to be continuous and differentiable again if it is in a logarithmic logarithmic function so it's also continuous and differentiable and where this ln the ln i use here is known as natural logarithm all right natural logarithm but you might not know the ln before we can still call it log log is the logarithm with the short form log so either ln or log so you can use any of the two all this one they are the case for continuous and the differentiable let's see the second part of this in example you are welcome to another class uh, where we are going to be um, solving example just to beautify the examples uh, explanation that we give uh, in the above and i told you earlier that if you are given a function like this uh, in the rules theorem, the first thing you must do is is this uh, condition met? Is this a polynomial function, exponential function, logarithmic, and others like that? So as we know that this function is a quadratic polynomial, all right? Because the highest power of this x is two, which makes it quadratic. And as far well as you see something like this, we must firstly know that in our mind it is automatically differentiable and uh, continuous. If you don't forget the uh, example, I the condition I gave that if it is a polynomial, if it is exponential, logarithm, or trigonometry, so they are automatically differentiable and uh, continuous. All right. And since this one is quadratic polynomial, because the highest power is two, it is automatically differentiable and uh, continuous on what on a closed interval one comma three. So when we have I tested the first one. The first, the next thing we are going to do here is we know that this one is a comma b, all right? A comma b, which is continuous in it according to that definition. So we need to check if uh, this one is automatically continuous or not, or is it truly continuous? So we just try to replace this s with a, and that a is one. So anyway, we see x, we just replace it with one. We have two bracket one raised to power two minus five bracket one uh, plus three. All right, so and uh, this one is equivalent to two bracket uh, one square is still one then minus five times one is five plus three and as soon as we got this we are going to consider this as five minus five which is equals to zero then we cannot conclude that this is equal because uh, according to that definition we also say f of a must be equal to f of b that is the second case then uh, let's plug in three as well we have 2 into bracket of 3 square minus 5 into bracket of 3 plus 3 and this equals to 2 bracket and we know 3 square is 9 minus 5 into bracket of 3 plus 3 so by trying to evaluate this 2 times 9 that is 18 minus uh, this that is 15 plus 3 all right and uh, if you try to uh, add this and subtract everything here is going to be equivalent to uh, that is going to be equivalent to 6. Uh, if this is um, 6, because 3 plus 3 is 6 already, uh, we should know that from that definition, f of a and f of b must be equal. But here, f of 1 is not equal to f of 3, which means that we cannot proceed to the second, uh, to the third step to find the derivative, that is f prime of s. We cannot do that. Because check this, g of a must be equal to g of b. But in the problem we just solved now the two of them they are not equal that is the otherwise will happen so what is that otherwise it means that we cannot continue and since we cannot continue the rules theorem is invalid here all right the rules theorem is invalid you know we check for the first condition which is polynomial it is valid we proceed to the second one to find if f of a and f of b are equal but since f of a and f of b they are not equal which means you cannot proceed again we just find out that the rules theorem is invalid. If that is clear, let's see the second um, example. So we know that this is A and uh, this is B. Okay. And the next thing we are going to do is we just try to plug in the value of A, uh, which is 2, 
uh, equals to anywhere we see uh, 2, we just replace it with, uh, we see x, we replace it with 2. Then we have 2 square minus 8 to the bracket of 2 plus 12. And since we have this, everything equals to, now uh, we have 4. And here is minus 16 plus 12. Uh, on getting this, we have this equals to uh, this and this, everything equals to 0. That is the first one for f of 2, uh, g of 2. Why let's see the g of 6 equals to, we have 6 square minus 8 into bracket of 6 plus 12. And uh, we know that 6 square is 6 times 6, that is 36, minus 8 times 6, that is 48, plus 12. And the sum and subtraction of all these, everything equals to 0. Wow, this is so fantastic. Um, we must have known that the first condition hold, which is, is a polynomial already, the second condition also hold, that is the g of 2 equals to g of 6, which is g of a equals to g of b, according to that definition. Then we can now proceed to the third step. And what is that third step? Uh, is just to find the, uh, the constant value that must be present in this, um, that must be present. So in that given interval, okay. So we just try to find the derivative of g prime of x, all right. So the g prime is also known as derivative. That's just like dy dx, okay. So let's see the derivative of this. So we know that we have g of x. This equals to x raised to the power two minus eight x plus twelve. And on knowing this, we have uh, g prime of x. Uh, we just try to change it to g prime of c because it must be a constant value and that constant value suppose I change it to c But let's see the derivative of this first All right, so uh, I said that this one is just like derivative So just to rewrite it for you not to forget g prime of c equals to derivative. I'm sorry and uh, We have g prime of a that is you are going to differentiate this so if you differentiate x squared it is 2x If you differentiate 8x that is minus 8 and a, there is no variable there that is a constant value and derivative of any constant value equals to zero just try to leave it and the next thing we're going to do here is we are going to find the g prime of x but let me change it to constant value first so we are going to leave it as g prime of c and we must know that since we are using c now we change everything to c if it is x we change it to x if it is y we change everything to y and g prime of c equals to zero so if it equals to zero we just try to replace it here and we have two c minus eight then we transfer it here then we have 8 plus 0 that is still 8 equals to 2c all right then from this uh, we divide both sides by 2 and we got the value of c equals to um, 4 all right and uh, since we have gotten 4 we want to show to me that there is a particular constant value in the given interval all right but this interval is it truly really differentiable in this um, open interval? All right, you know it must be differentiable in an open interval a comma b. You know we only tested for uh, the continuity in a close, which is um, two comma what we are giving. But here, since we are two comma what is it called two comma six, and uh, what we just got now is four, which means that this four is truly differentiable in this interval. The reason is we are going to get the value of this 4 between these ranges. I know that these two commas is just like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And since we have 4 within this range, then we can conclude that this is truly um, differentiable. So that is the meaning of there exists. There exists a constant value. And that constant value uh, is now our 4, such that the function must be differentiable. We differentiate it, and we plug in the value, then we got the values. And here comes to the end of the class. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow for more and like this video.